So this is walking through the door. This is my messy shrimp room. First tank. Low grade green jades. Next one over is Blue Dreams and Ara Blue Ghost Bee Crosses. There's just a pair of the of the Caradina Crosses up in here. I really need to get rid of some floaters in the top. You just there's none of the lights getting through, so you really can't see how what a great blue color these have. Next row down. These are Blue Bolt, Blue Steel, and Aura Blue, and their babies. This tank, I have the hardest time trying to get pictures out of this tank. The I love the the cube shape, but oh, look at that. The gra glass is super scratched. And the curve just makes it incredibly difficult to try and get any pictures in here. Next door to them is Orange Rillies and Orange Eye Blue Tigers in Caradina or in Neo Water. And next to them is Bloody Marys and Orange Eyed Blonde Tigers and Light Blues. This is a 20 gallon divided by a matin filter. Stuff back here in the corner is my cull tank. There's orange eye blue tiger culls in here. Um, my no entry ones that I wasn't real happy with. And a ton of stardust babies. Next to them are, there's Red Bolts, there's Golden Bees, and Cherries in here. Babies everywhere. This tank is really hard to get pictures of too. The Red Bolts just look yellow. I never can get their shade to come out correctly. Like that one right there on the Subwasser tank is a deep, deep peach when I look at her through the camera she just kinda looks yellow next to them these are one of the parents I think it was the male was an orange eye blue tiger and bred to just whatever I had in my mixed caradina tank I just pulled out all the tan ones and we'll see what they do This is my ghost bee tank. This poor tank. I accidentally nuked it. I put um, way too much dog warmer in it to get rid of a planaria outbreak I had. And they're just... I think I killed off most of them on accident. I read the directions wrong. I didn't double check before I put it in. And there's a couple few in here still. There's a couple buried ones, so hopefully the colony will recover. Couple juvies still. Bottom row. This one is empty. It's cycled and ready to go. I'm not sure what I want to put in it yet. Red and black pintos and red galaxy tiger low grades.
Next to them is Orange Eye Blue Tigers. Next to them are there's a couple Orange Eye Blue or Orange Eye Blue Tigers in here, um, and some low grade fancy ti red tigers and some little black and white ones that I pulled out of my call tank because they had neat stripes. There is a whole bunch of little itty bitties in here too. Over here we have Snow Whites. There's only like 11 of them in here. I haven't had these very long. They haven't started breeding yet. Soon. They look ready to be soon. Wedged in the corner back there. This is extra plants. A whole mess of endlers in here. There's uh, some just random neocoles in here. Wedged up in this corner. This is my dirted tank, my dirted substrate experiment tank. Mostly just some endlers. There's a couple orange eye blue tigers in here. I got those suckers everywhere. I use them to, to experiment, test other tanks. There are some red cherries in here. A couple few survivors that just never got pulled out. This is orange-eyed red tigers, galaxy nanasy, I don't know, um, and my carbon really culls. I think there's a chocolate one in here maybe. There's a couple blue dream culls in here. They were my test shrimp and I just never took them out because I know they won't breed with the reds. Next tank is Blue Dreams in Caridina Water. And some random babies that were just growing out of here. This tank wasn't doing well. Whatever caridinas I put in here, I couldn't get them to breed, I couldn't get them to live. And I finally just said, uh, the heck with it, and took them all out. The blue dreams seem to be doing alright in here though, so I'll just leave them go. Next to them, I have my Shadow Pintos and Pandas tank. And my one little red and white shrimp that came over <laughs> in some plants and I have to fish it out still. But I've got the one deep blue bolt female in here. She's buried again. She's had babies in here already. There's some little babies. I've seen shrimp in here too. Some babies back there in the back. On the edge over here are crystal reds and crystal blacks. Um, trying for Mazoras and no entry. That's just holding that little piece of plant down so it will root. This tank is doing great though. Babies everywhere. There are also um, blue dreams in here.
This is my calcio tank. Reds, blacks, and a couple dragon bloods. Well, it are my emeralds. I kept meaning to use the oil dry to do substrate in this tank, and I just haven't quite gotten around to it yet. This has got some cherries. I just moved these tanks, so they're kind of a little crappy looking still. Um, there's some cherries in here, and I had started putting some stardust babies in here. Out of that other tank. Next to that, this is Ara, B, er, Ara Blue Ghost Bee Crosses. And they are now having their second generation of babies. Over here we have, I had taken just a couple of the, the bluest ones, or the ones with the best pattern, and put them in here, and when they're not on the black substrate, they look like garbage. And then the last two my cube with my blue bolts. Uh, I think there's one or two blue steels in here. There's tiny, tiny babies in here. I never can seem to get them on camera, but they're hiding in and amongst the plants. There's only one, one or two have hatched in here so far. I should say one or two mamas that have females that have hatched babies in here. And then below this, the other cube and there's just some black crystals in here as some test shrimp to make sure that the tank is good and ready to go. And that is my messy shrimp room. Oh, my board where I keep track of who's in what tank, when I did water changes, And that's it in my big dog's butt.